this is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever you happen to watch this timeless love reading and it resonates with your particular situation then the reading is for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there and I appreciate all the love and support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading. As always guys, only take what messages resonate with you. And leave the rest with someone else. If you don't resonate with your sun sign, check your other natal chart placements that you most resonate with. Okay? So let's get into it. Divine Holy Spirit. What general love messages do you have for my Sagittarius Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus placements for whenever they happen to watch the Sun the Love reading? Messages for Sagittarius placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or whatever other placement that you resonate with most with that has Sagittarius. Okay. four of swords we have the four of cups we have the three of wands we have the page of cups we have the magician we have the five of pentacles the three of swords the knight of swords hmm. and the emperor okay overall energy two of cups I feel like this is mostly you guys balancing out your divine masculine, divine feminine energy, going within, reflecting, realizing what, what it is you do want in love and what you, and you already know what you don't want in love because y'all have experienced it for my Sagittarius placements. But for some of y'all, I feel like y'all have manifested a new beginning, but I feel like this has come after, yeah, you, you're, you get another opportunity, another go at it at love right here. The four of wands is behind this two of cups. Uh, y'all have been through it and I, I feel like y'all are truly trying to reflect and regather yourself after numerous attempts at love and coming up short or disappointed in love. I feel like you've always known that or may have had opportunities to be with certain people, but you only wanted your one. You want a, wanted a specific type of person who would love you flaws and all and vice versa. I feel like you thought you had that in different stages or points in your life. But as you have gotten older, you see that a lot of people weren't on a, the person or the people that you were dealing with in the past weren't on the same page as you. And that caused you to look elsewhere. A lot of y'all felt disappointed, was feeling like you didn't need to um, take certain opportunities in love. You didn't need to, for some of y'all, it's like people might have tried to hook y'all with someone in the past. As you can see, that Ace of Cups is coming out of nowhere, but it wasn't, that person wasn't what you wanted. They weren't who you thought they were. Um, and for some of y'all, y'all might not have seen anyone that you wanted to get with. And what I mean by that is the people that were approaching you or that were brought to you in love or for the potential of love relationships, they weren't what you wanted because after you got to know them, it was like, oh my God, it's the same person in a different body over and over again for some of y'all, okay? And I feel like y'all try to remain grounded and move forward, but you also use the lessons that you learned in previous relationships that didn't work out to help move you forward, okay? For some of y'all, y'all might get an offer from someone, um, but I feel like it's not quite the per here it goes again. It's not quite the person that you want because you feel like whoever this person is, they might want to marry you, might want to get in a relationship with you, might want to be serious with you. They have potential, but you can't really see their potential. Um, and I feel like for a lot of y'all, y'all walked away from this person because you knew nothing against that particular person or that situation, but you knew that you deserved more than what they were able to give to you. Not that you thought that you were more than them, but you knew that this person was immature. It could have been an ex. It could have been someone who you vibe with at certain levels, but they didn't fulfill you 
spiritually, emotionally, and physically the way that you wanted to be fulfilled. And I feel like y'all walked away from that, even though it caused you pain. It might have caused someone else pain, but you knew that it was better for you to grieve temporarily than to find yourself in a relationship or a marriage with someone who did not fulfill all of your needs and vice versa, okay? I feel like that was something that y'all had to learn, even though it may have hurt in the in the uh, short term. In the long term, I feel like y'all are going to move forward and take control of your life. You're the magician. You can manifest, and you are manifesting something real, something more balanced, someone who is equally yoked with you. They're not the same as you, but they have some similar qualities that you like, some similar qualities that you want. They're on the same page and y'all are moving towards stability. But I feel like y'all like are kind of sort of second guessing yourself, Sagittarius placements, because you might have been by yourself for a long time after parting with someone else from the past. And you're like, oh, my God, did I make the right decision? Yes. Like I said, things don't always come when you want them to come. They come in right and divine perfect timing and I feel like that's coming for y'all okay um knight of swords energy coming in when you least expect it you minding your own business you kind of sort of got this feeling of being through with love that's when the love and divine alignment comes into play everything is going to come when you least expect it you're taking back control of your life and your emperor is coming emperor or empress take it how it resonates for you okay as I always tell y'all I feel like when you least suspect it, that divine, uh, I don't even like to say counterpart. We're going to have to find another word. That divine partner, that divine lover, that divine husband, that divine wife, that divine whoever is coming. And I feel like the love that you've been seeking, you're finding it right now within yourself. And j because you're doing it, because you're going with them, because you're lo learning to love yourself, that's when the perfect partner it's coming along to sweep you off your feet, whether you realize it or not. Wow. Okay, then. So let's see here. <laughs> that was interesting. So, Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for my Sagittarius, Sun, um, Moon Rising, and Venus placements? Like I said, with the Emperor or Empress, it's someone who is stable, someone who's on the same page with you, and they're coming to build with you, not tear you down. I'm just saying. Let me see. Did I this day no i did not okay let me cut that all right spirit what messages do you have to wrap up this reading for my sagittarius sun moon rising and venus placements spirit said turn that one over first breakup like i was telling you some of y'all have figured out that the person or the people that you were dealing with in the past they weren't for you breakup time apart is on the horizon this may be short term or long term. So for some of y'all, y'all coming to terms with that. You're coming to three of swords. You're coming to fruition with that. And it's you're you're making your peace with that, with that breakup or the breakups you had in the past. And you realize that, hey, it is what it is. And you have to move forward. You're focusing on yourself, trying to, <laughs> I was about to say, gain clarity. Okay. Put that one back. Clarity. Someone finally sees the answer was always right in front of their eyes. The vision is clear. Therefore, what is to come shall be clear too. So for some of y'all, this is you realizing what you don't want in a partner. And that was causing you to break up or move forward from someone. <laughs> and for some of y'all, it's spiritual awakening. The truth to what it is uh, that you want what it is that your person wants what it is that you need from a partner in the future i feel like you are getting that and with this new person y'all are going to have what is that telepathy it says pay attention to the telepathic messages that are being sent and received at this time so for some of y'all y'all are receiving messages from a divine soulmate counterpart love lover whoever that you have not yet met for some of y'all for some of y'all y'all do know this person and you're communicating with them telepathically there i said there i said it uh telepathically or receiving signs and synchronicities look at this spiritual awakening your partner is sensing that something is profoundly important about this connection for some of y'all you don't even know this person for some of y'all this is you realizing that hey you must you had to learn what you had to learn from someone in a relationship and now it's time to move forward 
to your divine soulmate, to the person that you want to be with. And once you meet them, you will have this sort of, look at that. Thanks for the confirmation spirit. You will have this sort of uh, unspoken bond with them. You don't even realize for some of y'all, y'all won't even realize until you get to know this person that this is your soulmate. This is the one that you have been waiting for. This is the one that you have been communicating with telepathically. And it's going to be a spiritual awakening for you and that specific person. Okay, guys? Wow. So that is all I have for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for your timeless love reading. I hope it resonated with you guys. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my book, Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.